Hey friends, it's Eric Thor here to talk to you today about the ENFP and how to make your ENFP happy. So, perhaps sometimes as an ENFP, you're not always the cheerful, bubbly, manic, pixie, dream girl, boy that you are sometimes made out to be. And uh, that doesn't mean that you're broken, it doesn't mean that you're not a happy or healthy ENFP. Because the truth is, uh, we all have high and low days. And the truth is, if we have high days, we get low days. Your choice is to either detach and not have anything at all, or to experience all of it. So the first thing, the first trick for an ENFP if you want to stay happy and healthy is to allow yourself to be sad. Now that might be contradictory, but the truth is it's about the process and it's about nurturing and caring for yourself no matter what you feel. If you keep invalidating your emotions or running away from them, you're going to face the consequences eventually. The truth is if you hold back sadness or pain, it's going to hold you back from being fully and truly happy. The truth is, every time you go out and run away from your sadness or your pain, you do so by pretending to be happy and you know it's fake and so it doesn't feel real to you and so you know it's not real. And being real and being authentic is key to an ENFP in order to the, for the ENFP to feel truly and genuinely happy. So check in with yourself and allow yourself moody days or sad days, allow yourself to wallow, allow yourself to feel bad. It's healthy and healthy and it's right and it's cool and it's fine. The second tip if you want to have flow and happiness as an ENFP is to recognize your patterns and so allow yourself to change your mood. In my previous video I talked about the different phases of the ENFP and why the ENFP can be confusing and if you learn to embrace your different sides, if you allow yourself time to explore, but also time to build stability, you will be happier as a person. But if you hold yourself back or force yourself to be in one state all the time, that's going to mess you up. So don't expect from yourself to become a hardcore ISTJ, but allow yourself to have days where you work on your home or your apartment or your comfort or your security. Just as you allow yourself to have days where you fully and freely explore the world and try new things and take risks. As an ENFP, you are both a doer and an artist, and so you can be super successful and super industrious. But most ENFPs will warn you to not go too deep into work and not to trick or fool yourself that you can be or play the corporate game all the time. You're not going to ever be a 100% business junkie. You're going to have to mix and balance out your inner artist with your inner businessman or entrepreneur. And that means allow yourself to be artistic in what you do. Allow yourself to be entrepreneurial and allow yourself to market your art and your ideas. But also allow yourself to go deep into yourself to really pull from your innermost feelings, even the ones that might not be marketable or so sellable to the outer world. The ENFP flow state is a state in which the ENFP goes from that bubbly enthusiasm of finding new ideas to executing ideas and putting them to practice and that means finding ways to put things into practice finding ways not just to have ideas but also to make them happen so think about how you can make your ideas happen and also challenge yourself to make your ideas happen if you know that you not just have ideas but also put ideas out into the world you're going to feel better and you're going to feel happier you not need to be more than just a daydreamer you need to be truly creative so allow yourself to not just have ideas, but also to make ideas happen in the world. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.